welcome to my channel. Today I am about to attempt to make me some crawfish etouffee. Something I really love, but I never tried it. So I want to see if I can follow this recipe. All right, I have my onion, my bell pepper. I have my seasoning blend, some butter, some flour for my roux. I have some garlic powder. I'm going to put me a little crab ball in there. My Tony Saturi. And some broth. And I'm going to use some Rotel tomatoes. All right. Let's get this party started and see what we come up with. All right, our seasoning has been sautéing for a few minutes. And I'm about to take and add my chicken broth. And let this simmer for a little while. That all is cooked down. I got my Rotel tomatoes, my onion, my bell pepper, celery, all that in here. And I'm adding my chicken broth. And while I'm going to let this saute for a little while, cook down for a little while. I'm going to take and put my rice on, and I'm going to add my crawfish tails, my Louisiana crawfish tails, to this skillet here so it can be warming up, because as you know, they cold out of the refrigerator. Louisiana crawfish tails. That's what we have here. All right, let's see what our crawfish A2 fade looks like. Now, this has been simmering down about 10 or 15 minutes and I have a beautiful color and a wonderful aroma here and I got my crawfish warming up over here I got my water on for my rice and I'm going to put me a little bit more Tony Saturi in here. I love this color. Alright, now that I have my crawfish tails warmed, I'm going to add them to the pot. And also, I'm going to put in my green onion. And guess what? I'm going to put me just a tad bit of crab ball in here. That orange crab ball, about a tablespoon. Just a little bit. Alright, I got my crawfish in here. I made my little roux with the butter and the flour. 
about a cup of flour to a stick of butter. I have my rotel in here, rotel tomatoes, bell peppers, green onions, and I'm going to let that cook simmer down a little more. And in a little while, we're going to see what we're working with. All right, it's been cooking for about 12 minutes. And we are about to see what we have. My crawfish etouffee looking good. Now I added a half a cup of water to this because it was kind of thick. But you can put as much water or as little water as you want. But this is what we have. Crawfish etouffee. And I'm going to add me a couple of shakes of salt in here. Not too much. Just a couple of shakes of salt. Now in about 15 minutes, I'm going to have two of my barbers, my sons, that are barbers, that's getting off from work. Now they're either going to be taste testers, or they're going to be some hungry men that just got off from work. I guess it's going to depend how this crawfish etouffee tastes. Whether they're going to be testers or hungry eaters. All right, I'm going to put the lid on here. Let it cook for another couple of minutes. And then I'm going to let it rest for a while. In a few minutes, we're going to see what we have. And here we go, guys, for the very first time, my very own crawfish etouffee. And I'd say I did a pretty good job. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, here we go, guys. Here go our two taste testers, big hungry barbers just got off from work. Let's see if they're going to eat. Barber, one barber with no haircut. <laughs> hmm. You might know what you're doing. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> what is shrimp? No, I got one. That's crawfish. Crawfish. Same thing. Oh, crawfish is very my bad. Shrimp is big. You might be able to sell this to a restaurant. Ooh, boy. I can dig it. I don't even like crawfish at the thing. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's good. I put a little kick to it. I put a little crawfish ball in there, and I put those rotel mm. chili peppers in there. Good call. Pretty good. All right. I get a thumbs up. Then I get a thumbs up. Kenny would have gave you a thumbs up. <laughs> Once we get some more popcorn candy, we'll give you a thumbs up. <laughs> You're going to hold me to that, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, guys. All right, we have our little taste testers for the crawfish etouffee. Let's see what we're working with, guys. Let's try this new food. Mm hmm? Mm. I'm going to go with it. Enjoy. It kind of tastes like gumbo. It does. It really does. It's not as thin as gumbo, but it it's does. Spicy. It's spicy. Yeah, it might be a little too spicy. I shouldn't have put that crab ball in there. It's too spicy. It's too spicy. If you like a little kick, it's good. You yeah. like spicy? I yeah. like spicy too, but I, I like that spicy. I just need a little kick to it. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, please. All right, thanks for watching, guys.